Today we're going to be printmaking and drawing a Valentine character using oil pastels. Printmaking is when you transfer ink or paint from one surface to another. We are going to be using these cardboard rolls that are stapled into the shape of a heart as our stamp or printing block. You will need a few things today. A pencil, a tray of white paint for each table, a piece of colored paper, you can choose the color, there are several options to choose from. A white piece of paper, just one. Scissors. And a pack of oil pastels. And of course your printing tool. Okay, so first things first. Put your name on it. If your name isn't on it, you won't know it's yours when you get them back from the drying process. This is important. You want your paper back. So, to start this printing process, we're going to turn it over. You don't want to use the side our name is on. And we are going to get our printing tool. You're going to take your heart stamp and you're going to lightly dip it in the white paint. Before you lift it up, be sure it's not going to drip. And you're going to put it where you want it on your paper. Now, I don't want to move this because if I move it, it would slide the paint and it wouldn't be a heart anymore. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to take my whole hand on top of it and I'm going to lightly press. And then I'm going to lift this straight up. I don't want to move it. And ta-da! It's a heart. Now see, you have a little bit of broken line. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a printing process. And we can make another print. So dip your heart again and lay it down and lightly press. If you want to get it perfect, be sure you just kind of wiggle it a little bit and lift up. And there you've got another one. filled up. Notice I did it kind of random. You can make them in a straight line and go all the way down or you can do what I did and you can just make them all random all over your paper. Don't forget to do the edge of your paper. You might get a little bit of paint on the table and you might want to wipe that off when you're done. So now that I have my paper, it's ready to dry. When you are finished, take them to your grade levels drying rack.